Wilson. My cousin is from Germany. His mother is American. He has three sisters. Their grandmother speaks French. She has four grandchildren. Read and repeat. We're going to review some jobs and some workplaces. Now first, look at your screen and we will look at some jobs. Now we'll begin with teacher, student, nurse, architect, manager, website designer, doctor, waiter, taxi driver, salesperson, and homemaker. Now, look at your screen again, and we'll look at some workplaces where these people work. So let's start with a bank, a restaurant, an office, a school, a hospital, a store, a hotel, and a factory. Now, what are some other jobs? We're going to get some ideas from our assistants and we'll put them into groups and also say where they work. Now, some of the groups are health, let's write these down, health, tourism, business, the arts, and education. Okay, so these are the groups that we'll talk about today. And we'll put some names of jobs here. And our assistants will tell us the name of a job and where that person works. Okay? And I'll just write the names of the jobs. So, let's look at some jobs in the health category. And we'll start with Ali. A dentist. He works in an office. Yes, good. A dentist. All right. Now the next one, Susan. A nurse. She works in a hospital. Yes, a nurse. Good. Isabel. A doctor. He or she works in a hospital. Yes. Uh huh. Good. Any more, Ali? An ambulance driver. He works on the street. Oh, good one. An ambulance driver. Okay. Good. Isabel. Receptionist. Uh, she works in an office. Okay. A receptionist works in an office. Any more, Susan? Hmm. I can't think of any. Okay. All right. Now, let's look at this group again. We have a dentist, a nurse, a doctor, an ambulance driver, and a receptionist. There's probably more, but we'll stop there. Okay, now let's look at the group for tourism. I think this will be a long list. Susan, you start. A waiter or waitress, he or she works in a, work in a restaurant. Okay, he or she works in a restaurant. What's the difference between a waiter and a waitress? A waiter is a man. A waitress is a woman. Yes, good. All right. Uh, okay, Ali? A cook or a chef. Okay. He or she works in a restaurant. Yes, okay. A chef is higher status. Okay, Isabel? A receptionist. She works in an office. Okay. Or a restaurant. Okay, could be. All right, Ali? A taxi driver. He works in a car. Yes. 
All right. And Susan? A bus driver. He works in a bus. Yes, good. Isabel? A cleaner. He or she works everywhere. Yes, that's right. We need cleaners. Susan, one more. A guide. He or she works in tourist places. Yes, that's right. Good. Isabel? A translator. He or she works in an office. Yes, probably. All right. Another one, Ali? A travel agent. He or she works in an office. Yes, good. And one more each, Ali. A pilot. He works in a plane. Okay, Susan? A captain. He works on a ship or ferry. Okay, and Isabel? A flight attendant. He or she works on a plane. Yes, good. Okay. All right. Now, let's look at our list again. It's quite long. We have a waiter, a waitress, a cook, a chef, a receptionist, a taxi driver, a bus driver, a cleaner, a guide, a translator, a travel agent, a pilot, a captain, and a flight attendant. Okay, now let's look at business and we'll start with Isabel. Okay, a website designer. He or she works in an office. Okay, a website designer, all right, Ali. A computer programmer, he or she works in an office. Yes. Okay, these are long ones, a computer programmer. Okay, Susan? A technician, he works everywhere. Okay, spell technician. T, E, C, H, N, I, C, I, N, A, N. A, N, good, yes, a technician. All right, Isabel. An accountant. He or she works in an office or a bank. Okay, good. Ali? An engineer. He works in an office or maybe outside. Okay, and it could be a she. And Isabel, one more? A secretary. She works in an office. Okay. And Susan, one more for you. A salesperson, he or she works in a store. Okay. And Ali, the last one for now. A businessman, he works in an office. Okay. Now, of course, all of these jobs can be women also. A businessman could be a businesswoman. Now, let's look at our list. We have a website designer a computer programmer, a technician, an accountant, an engineer, a secretary, a salesperson, and a businessman or a businesswoman. Okay, now let's look at the arts. Isabel, give me one. Okay, a singer. He or she works in a bar or a theater. Yes, uh-huh, or on television or in the movies, in the movies. Okay, Ali. An artist, he or she works in a studio. Yes, uh-huh. Susan? An architect, he or she works in an office. Okay, spell it. A-R-C-H-I-T-E-C-T. -E yes, good, another hard one. Okay, architect. Ali? A painter, he or she works in a studio. Okay. Isabel? A graphic designer. He or she works in an office. Yes, good. A graphic designer. All right, Ali? A writer. He or she works in an office or at home. Yes, good. All right. That's good for now. Let's look at our list again. We have a singer, an artist, an architect, a painter, a graphic designer, and a writer. Now, our last group is education, and we just have a few things for that. So, let's start with Susan. A teacher, he or she works in a school. Yes, good. All right, Isabel? A professor, he or she works at a university. 
Yes. Uh-huh. Notice for spelling. One F, two S's. Okay, Ali. A student, he or she doesn't work, but goes to school. Okay, that's good for now. Now, this is a short list. A teacher, a professor, a student. Okay, and of course, there are other people that work in the office. All right, now, you did a great job with articles. I'm very proud of you. Now, at home, look at your screen, and you'll see the chart again of articles to review them. Now, remember, with single countable nouns in general, we use a or an. With countable plural nouns, only s. Non-countable nouns, no a, an, no s. For the, we use it for special things with countable single nouns, countable plural nouns, the plus s, and non-countable nouns. So if we look across at our chart, we see a n, a car, cars, traffic, an apple, apples, fruit, with the, we see the car, the cars, the traffic, and the apple, the apples, the fruit. Okay? Great. Now, let's look and listen.